because you assume something to be true. In a game, in a puzzle, I mean. <laughs> but yeah, Akashi, I, I don't know how you do it because I, I have seen that you like the, uh, you know, action games. You do a lot of, of platformy type games. And I... Th I think that is really difficult to be able to engage with an audience while keeping up that action. That is very, very tricky. That's why I also tend to, just in general, I already gravitate towards strategic games. Just because they're a little bit slower, they allow me to think a little bit more. I enjoy that. Am I right in saying that this U form is the only one that I can do? Let's let's verify. If I wanted these ones which are in the middle, I have to make that connection. Which means that that, that, or that cannot be broken. Is there any other... Any other organization? See, this is something I haven't done yet. But that separates... That separates the uh, the fan. And that's a problem. That separates the fan as well. Actually, multitask like a champ. That he does. He <laughs> needs a dolphin brain. <laughs> yeah. Uh, to be honest, sometimes I wouldn't mind having a dolphin brain if that means that I could just stay awake uh, just all the time. See, this, I, I could start like this, but it always gets me in trouble. Oh, this is a good one. This is a good one. It's somewhere in my decision-making here that, that the problem is. Or a strong CPU. <laughs> uh, Akashi, robot, can no, wait. Let me, let me, I, I can also do this in voice meter. <clears throat> Give me a second. Akashi, robot confirmed. <laughs> there we go, there we go. That's that's me back. And by the way, for that ASMR feeling, I'm just going to be moving around your head just that little bit, just to do a little bit of a whisper over here. And we're going to move around over to your, to your left side. Just say hi. Just say hi. And I'm going to be moving back just in the center here. <laughs> Seriously, ASMR videos, I don't get it. I don't get it. <laughs> uh, I don't know, have you ever seen those ASMR videos where, where just somebody goes, okay, okay, I'm just gonna go cut your hair, okay? So we're gonna get nice and up close. And they just act out giving you a haircut and I'm like, what are you doing? Just, just to stop. I need to change the way I approach this completely. That is a problem. I'm I'm stuck in thinking that this is correct. So I'm gonna need to approach this just differently, just completely differently. Oh, I get it. That's the mistake I'm making. See, I'm making the mistake that I believe that I need to catch all of these and that the, the, the fan corrects a red one being in a green one but the fan also corrects not having one of those. Hi kitty. Yeah, those are my burritos. You, you like sniffing burritos, don't you? Let me see if I can sneak you in here. Yeah, I know the, the green screen is messing up right now. See, see that cat? See that cat right there? That is the naughtiest cat. Okay, the green screen is messing up terribly. Give me one quick second because I need to start putting on some lamps. The sun was still shining when I did this. Give me a second here.
Sorry about revealing the magic behind the stream here. Ah, epiphany, indeed, Scaparmal. Epiphany time. The way science is going, you wouldn't be surprised if you figured out how to get dolphin brain genetics mixed with other species. Nice. And indeed, that Bob Ross ASMR. That would be that would be amazing as well. Just somebody going. What a let's uh, put a happy little tree here. Let's, um, you know what I like? When Bob Ross suddenly gets that's just a little bit dark. I don't know if you've ever seen that, but it's great when he goes, um, okay, we're gonna balance out. Well, yeah, go go mess with the green screen, kitty. That'll that'll be fine. The viewers won't mind. Where he, where he goes, um, I'm just gonna mix this up a little bit. We're gonna we're gonna add a little bit of uh, light to the uh, to the dark here, because well, what's life without a bit of a mix of light and dark, right? Just like just like life, your paintings need a little bit of light and dark. And just you think like, Bob, you've seen some stuff, haven't you, buddy? Okay, can I? No, that that already blocks. So let's see how I can adequately. No, no, that. Oh, tricky. I figured out my mistake, but it's still as tricky as anything. <laughs> yeah, that that cat is um it I love him to bits, but he's a little bit of a scamp. He will eat anything. He has eaten pea soup nuts he uh he drinks my orange juice if i leave it lying around um indy indy will eat anything that he gets his rubby little paws on uh, see this is my problem right now i can get this done but it's still one too many how do i solve that see i can go this route but that still blocks that off How do I... Oh, how do I solve this? I need somewhere to... to cordon off the green bits. And here's my challenge though. In about 10 minutes, I normally always start Darkest Dungeon, so... I really want to solve this before Darkest Dungeon. That's not it. Getting close though, I'm, I'm getting the sense that this is close to where I need to be. The problem is I'm, I'm not locking these off. If I do this, I, I, I'm not locking that off, but I'm thinking that this is getting somewhere. Turn out the brightness of the game. No one will know the difference. <laughs> yeah. Indeed. And then all we need to do is um, just cut in with... Mm, overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. So close. So close. What am I doing wrong? I'm thinking I'm on the right line with my idea of it's not about separating the green from the red, but about those dots there. But I still have that problem. Oh. There's one thing that I can do, maybe. There's something like that, but that kind of a loop still has the green in with the red. Except if I do something like this, which I could, ooh, extend. There we go. Yes. Yes, I knew it. I knew it. Ah. Uh, 
so that's both above and below that we've now upgraded. We've now turned on here. And that goes outside. So both of these go outside. <laughs> we did it and perfectly on time. Glorious. Now that means that this I now should know how to solve. Whoop. Which easily gets me down here. And we can have a look outside and see what happened. We've powered on this one and we've powered one up uh, there. Wait, there was, um... Oh, oh, I forgot, I forgot. I forgot that there was an audio thing up there. Where did I see it just now? There, right? Yep. What is divine in man is elusive and impalpable. And he is easily tempted to embody it in a concrete form, a church, a country, a social system, a leader, so that he may realize it with less effort and serve it with more profit. Yet, the attempt to externalize the kingdom of heaven in a temporal shape must end in disaster. It cannot be created by charters or constitutions, nor established by arms. Those who seek for it alone will reach it together. And those who seek it in company will perish by themselves. I like that. Hugh Kingsmill, 1944. Never heard of Hugh Kingsmill, though. That is interesting. Um, oh, what was the route I had upstairs? There was a, there was a route that I had to get there. Because one of these now, let's see, this one moves up there. And the other one led to puzzles that I could do there. Oh, um, yeah, the gate, the gate. There we go, now I remember. <laughs> Secretly though, guys, I kind of want to keep going with the witness. But my schedule is Darkest Dungeon, and I should switch to the Darkest Dungeon. Oh, there it is, there it is. Yep, 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 yep. There we go, so this is the link that I get over there that turns that on and that by the way is such a puzzle so that's a lift to get down or up huh That's interesting. I wonder really what it actually functionally does for me. Because no doubt it is part of some environmental puzzle. Let's have a look at what that does. I can get there. I can I can get off on, on and step on that little block over there. That may be the only thing that I can see right now that it would really fundamentally change. Okay, um Okay, let's let's have a quick peek at that little unlock later on. And I think what I'm gonna do after that is um throw in a little break. Eat a few more burritos and uh, then switch on over to Darkest Dungeon. Oh, it's only half of the puzzle. The other half being locked down there. Uh, so many good things, but we learned a new mechanic today and that is very crucial. And that we can use to get further and we can get so much more done. Okay, I'm just going to park myself up here with this nice view. Uh, let me check the time. Yep. Uh, what I'm going to do is throw it to a quick break here. We're going to be back after this break with uh, Darkest Dungeon. So um, stick around, hold up, and see if we can get people, uh, keep people alive. I know Skaltska Parmal is in our group right now. Um, and Jexus is still alive as well, so there's things that we can do over there. 
So I'm going to get you with a little bit of a break. I'll leave you with a uh, uh, some music. I'm going to grab myself another one of these burritos that I prepared in advance, and I'll be right back with you.